Hi, I'm Cindy Brooks from Mount Gilead Library, and today we're going to do a dragonfly craft. It's so easy. The hardest part will be finding your pattern. Um, you can get, you can join the uh, crafting website that it comes from, and that's www.projectswithkids.com. Um, I had to sign up. It's no, it doesn't cost anything, or you're just gonna send stuff to my box. <laughs> but I had to sign up just to get the um, the pattern for it. But it's okay. And if you don't want to do that, you can also go to Google Images, and I'm sure you can find a dragonfly image that you can print out from there. Um, it's very simple. After you get your pattern, you take here, here is the pattern. I cut it out. And then I, I drew it on here, and I'm using card stop, stop, and I just broke my lead. Okay, anyway, you, um, I'm using card stock, which is, I think it holds the paint better. You can probably use construction paper if you want. You might can use some regular paper as long as the paint's not too wet. I'm not doing much with this, am I? Um, And this plank plate wants to stick to me. So after you, after you draw it, I'm probably not going to cut it out, but I'll, I'm just tracing it. You trace it, and then I cut it out. You can see where I've cut it before. And so, here's the first one I did. And I just, after I cut it out, I took my Q-tips and my paints, and I just dotted it all over with all the different, you have one Q-tip per color, so you don't mix them up, mess up your paint. Um, so, that's, that was the first one. And then, I noticed that on hers, she had painted the center first. So I painted it yesterday, and I just used a little tiny brush and the pink. That's what I wanted. You can paint whatever you want. And uh, so it would be dry today, so I could do this. Now, um, I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on my plate, because you don't need a lot, especially if you're going to have several colors. I might just dip from the ooh. I've got orange on me. <laughs> All right. Um, I might dip from the jar on these two. Be easier. So I got it. There's a color here. I might as well do this. Well, obviously, I haven't used this yet. So, I'll dump some of it on the plate, quick, and a little bit of the blue. Okay, come on, I didn't use that much of you. All right, and then all you have to do is dip your little Q-tip in the paint and just start dotting. And I think I'm going to do some dots on here. And everywhere else. And the orange, same thing. I think I'll put some on here. And 
And of course, all you have to do after that is wash off the paint you probably got on your fingers like I did. And just let it dry. And that is what, how you do dragonflies with Q-tips.